Hey guys, so today we are going to make some Schweizer's reagent and dissolve some cellulose. Schweizer's reagent is made by combining copper hydroxide with ammonium hydroxide and this makes a compound a complex ion called tetraamine copper hydroxide. It, it forms a very deep solution of that complex. So in this video we are going to do, we are going to make that complex ion and try to dissolve some cotton wool and do some interesting property about it. So for that, first we should have take two, measure out two grams of copper hydroxide and add it into 100, into 100 milliliters of ammonium hydroxide. But still, I won't do it on a much smaller scale because I want to like save my valuable ammonium and ammonium hydroxide and copper hydroxide. So I'm gonna do it in 50 milli using 50 milliliters of ammonium hydroxide and only one gram of copper hydroxide. In this way, we can dissolve one gram of cellulose, which means I can take about a gram of cotton wool and dissolve it and discover that interesting property I'll tell you later. So first we should measure out 2 grams, oh sorry 1 gram because we're doing a small scale of copper hydroxide. Okay, so this is about a gram of copper hydroxide measured. So now we're gonna dissolve it in about 50 milliliters of ammonium hydroxide. First, let me put this thing into my beaker. So here it goes. And now I'm gonna add about 50 milliliters of this ammonium hydroxide. You should remember to wear a respirator because ammonium hydroxide releases ammonia vapors which is quite irritating. So now I put my respirator on. So now we'll continue. Okay, so here it is. And also along with the respirator, you should definitely wear eye goggles because ammonia vapors is also irritative to the eyes as well.
So this is actually the Schweizer's reagent. Okay, so once it has seen that all the copper hydroxide has dissolved, now we're gonna add some cotton wool. So according to the solution here, it should actually dissolve about one gram of cellulose. So in this case, one gram of cotton wool. Here's the cotton wool. Okay, so it's one gram of cotton. Now I'm gonna put this. And also, it seems that this reaction is very endothermic. It actually cooled down a lot. You can still also see that the water is condensing on the sides of the beaker. Also, as the Schweizer's reagent dissolves the cellulose, it becomes rather thick. First it has a low viscosity and now it has a somewhat high viscosity. Okay, so until this thing dissolves, now for the special thing, I'm gonna we are gonna have to make a ten more a uh, ten percent solution of hydrochloric acid. So in this case. I'm gonna fill out 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to this graduated cylinder. Okay, so here it is. Now I'm gonna add it to this conical flux with distilled water. 
So in theory it should make a solution of 10% hydrochloric acid. You can see like this cloud is marked over here and that is actually ammonium chloride. This solution right here releases some ammonia vapors so the, hydrochlor the hydrogen chloride uh, reacts with the ammonium vapors to make ammonium chloride. So now it does seem like okay to me. Okay, and now for the fun part. And from this syringe, I'm gonna suck up a little bit of this. Okay. First, I should remove this cotton. It seems like forever for this thing to dissolve. I'll just move it over here temporarily. It's actually really hard to suck up this liquid because it's pretty viscous. Okay, it's definitely a lot hard. So in this case, I'm gonna add a little bit of ammonia. Okay, so now I, at this point I kind of like give up. I can't do this. It's really hard than I thought.
uh, I try to be a one last attempt, but here I still I don't think I'll be able to put it up. So you can see here when we add the this Swisher's reagent with the dissolved cotton to this hydrochloric acid solution you can see that the cellulose actually precipitates out I'll just put it into this whole beaker and you can see immediately the cellulose precipitates out Now what's actually happening over here is that it actually attacks the Schweizer's reagent and destroys it. So this forms the cellulose back and uh, through time the dark blue of this will disappear into the solution so here it is so it didn't go plan as I was hoping I could never even suck out on the syringe so that's all for today and as always subscribe like and give any comment that you want to me and ask any questions from me if you want answers so bye and stay tuned for the next one